Breaking news this morning, an apartment fire in Northeast Atlanta has been burning now for nearly eight hours. Atlanta News First reporter Bridget Spencer is live near La Vista and Cheshire Bridge Roads this morning. Bridget, more than two dozen people are out of their apartments. That's right. We're at the reserve at La Vista Walk. I just spoke with a Red Cross representative and she is saying that she is afraid that this building may be condemned. I want to show you where we are. Uh, there is a firefighter on top of that ladder focusing on this edge of this roof over here, over here trying to put out these flames that have really just been burning for several hours overnight at this point, Megan. Now we do know that luckily there are no injuries. We are hearing lots of pets were inside of the building. They were out uh, alive as well. So that's the good news. The Red Cross is telling me between 28 to 35 people at this point have been displaced. Uh, they are desperately working, trying to relocate these people. In fact, they said they have gotten uh, a bus ready to come out here to load everyone to go to a shelter. Uh, that is how bad this fire is. It's displaced so many people. And, and the building, I just did a walk around and it is damaged, of course, and it's looking pretty bad. So a lot of these people are going to have to find another place to live. Uh, we did hear from a resident earlier, right when the fire uh, started, he was talking about how they were alerted of the fire. I looked out my window, I saw fire trucks rolling up, uh, police cars rolling up. Next thing I know, I hear banging on the doors in my halls. Um, they bang on my door, tell me to evacuate the building. I grab what I can and me and my uh, girlfriend get out of my apartment, go down to the street. A yeah, pretty scary situation. Um, and as you can see, uh, the crews have no plans on leaving until they make sure these hot spots are out. There's no good time for a fire, of course, but especially on a cold and rainy night, we have noticed some residents are uh, getting warm in their cars, Megan, at this point. It is a pretty uh, bad situation, but thankfully, uh, no lives have been lost. Of course, we're going to be out here kind of monitoring the situation and update you on air and online. For now, we're live in Atlanta. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First. That is the good news, Bridget, that everybody is okay. But you're right, you just can't help think about the conditions outside this morning that the residents are out in and those fire crews have been in now for hours. Keep us posted this morning. Thank you.